Hi. Hey, Kathy. Long time no talk. Long time no talk, exactly. <laughs> it's been a few hours. We have, this is, I don't know, take what, five or six? Because the internet keeps faltering. It's really challenging during the day. So we're just going to keep our fingers crossed and hopefully we can move forward with this one. And, yes. and if there's some glitches, there's some glitches, but we were completely freezing. So, we so were. a few hours ago, we went our separate ways and we said we'd come back and, and regroup and try again. And it's Sunday today, right? right. We're going to launch this on, we're going to launch this on Tuesday. Yeah. Um, and you know what I did in the last three hours? <laughs> what did you do? Did you have fun? Really good three hours, actually. So okay. when I hung up with you, I jumped on a bicycle. It's Jenna's bike, but it's she shares it. It goes back, well, it goes back and forth from her dad's to my house, and it just happens to be here. So I put my helmet on, and anyone who knows where I live, it's very, very hilly, and I was yeah. bombing up and down the hills, and I felt like I was like this big kid again, you know, <laughs> just... Being on a bicycle like a, a bicycle, being on a bike like that, right? It's just, it was so, um, yes, freeing or something. Yes. yes, absolutely. And then I came home and then I took some time to myself. So I mm -hmm. just took some time to myself. Take care of yourself. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> some self care. <laughs> and then, well, I did. And then I, um, oh my goodness. And then I got on a call with MSA, multiple system atrophy, the disease that my sister has with the right. board of directors. There were five of us on the call and um, we're building up our, our group. And anyways, it was just good to connect with them. And, and mm -hmm. Phil, who coordinates all this, is just a, a wonderful human. His brother passed away of the same disease as my sister. Right. And then I decided to meditate. So I downloaded, I have the app, it's Deepak and Oprah, the 21 day meditation yep. that they're offering um, during this time, COVID for free. And I thought I'm gonna start day one of day 21 for my meditation. And then I made myself a cocktail because I thought it's six o'clock or quarter after six, right? And I thought I'm gonna have a drink. So can you see and look at that beautiful it? color. Wow, it's, it's very pretty. delicious. It's actually, the, the reason why it's got the color, it's butterfly pea blossoms is what it is. And it's made here on Vancouver Island. And what kind of aqua is it? So it's gin and it's called Empress Gin. So it's, it's named after the landmark, um, the hotel, the Empress in Victoria. Empress hotel. It's delicious. I absolutely love it. So wow. have I not well, had the best of yeah. times? I, I have, I have, uh, let's cheer. I have a, I have red wine in here because I have not taken the time to buy uh, wine glasses yet. Oh, you know so. what? That's, that's wonderful. You have a cocktail. So let's yeah. just make Cheers. sure. Cheers. Cheers. Nice to see you. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's been a we while. Are slowly accumulating stuff because um, of course now we're in Alberta with COVID. Nobody, nobody needs house sitters anymore. And thankfully, as I have mentioned before to you, thankfully our renters moved out a month ago. And so we actually have a, a roof over our head. And, you know, as often happens when, when you have renters in a place, um, you know, we've had good renters, but the place was looking a little tired. So I've spent the last three weeks painting and painting and painting everything. I mean, all these walls were white and I just so love painting. Speaking of meditating, Painting for me is like meditating. And I would listen to music like Matt Anderson, you know, the yes. amazing singer, singer from the Maritimes. I would listen to, um, to him on Spotify radio and I'd just be in the zone. And meanwhile, our little uh, suite here is uh, transforming and becoming homey. And we're starting to slowly buy things, you know, some furniture, cutlery, um, I guess, Wine glasses are going to be on the list here soon. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we're getting. Well, you don't want to spend too much money. You're only temporarily there, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But this is going to be our home base. But we've yes. been minimalist now for a few years, and I really want to maintain that. I don't want to acquire all this stuff again. So less is more. And mm -hmm. currently, my uh, really good friend Melissa has lent us all of her camping gear. 
and her neighbor also gave a bunch of stuff. So all the kitchen things, we have lawn chairs in the living room right now. We, we're using TV trays and nice. uh, it's working really well. And when the time comes and we find some, uh, some furniture for the living room, we're hoping to yes. find second hand because I'm really wanting to be, um, yeah, a little friendlier to the earth, and recycle, reuse, reduce all of that. Yeah. So we're looking for furniture in the living room. We've so far found a uh, kitchen table and chairs through Facebook buy, sell trade. Our friend just gave us a dresser. Another right. friend we bought a, a mattress from. So we're, we're starting to get, get, you know, our, our yes. place, um, filled up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. So it's fun. Yeah. Absolutely. It's fun. And, and, and painting is great. Cause you can you just, you can paint it your own colors and, and, um, it's, you know, and it's it gives it a whole new feeling. So compared to the white walls, exactly. Oh so, my goodness. So how are you? We talk about this, right? Like how, yeah. how are you? How are people? I mean, we're heading into month two right now, you know, I and know. there's so much to talk about. Um, there really is because there's just so many emotions for so many people right now, you right. know, whether it's, um, fear or you know anxiety or hope or, that people have or or, yeah. or depression or you know yeah. there's, there's just but then so also much. you know what what else i found i've talked to a couple of people who are um actually feeling really good and then they're feeling oh. guilty they're feeling guilty for feeling good right well i, I feel know. really good but i don't feel guilty oh, good but I, but I get that emotion i get i understand mm -hmm. that emotion because yeah the old Kathy probably would have felt guilty and wouldn't have. So, you know, right. but I don't feel guilty because yeah. I've created the happiness in my life and that's what people have to do. So, yes, yes, absolutely. No, a girlfriend of mine, she got let go and, uh, and she said to me, like, don't tell anyone, but I'm actually really, really happy. I'm like doing the happy dance and <laughs> right. And I thought, but why would she say, don't tell anyone? Well, right? Why wouldn't people just just be happy for people who are happy in their lives? Because we're all going to be either happy at different stages, or you figure out a way to, you know, what 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 we talk about all the time is is moving forward and just really well, always trying to be happy. It's like this 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 way this the you know that humans have where we feel like we need to lower ourselves to the mm -hmm. level of the lowest denominator, I guess. Right. So, right. and, and, uh, and what we're saying is heck no, you know, you feel happy, stay happy. And maybe the people who aren't feeling happy are going to raise their vibration and join you up there, but don't lower. Right. I mean, you can feel compassion and, and love for them, but yeah, please don't lower down to that vibration. But how are you doing been a with roller coaster though, hasn't it? It I mean, has been. And I'm thinking about you with Nova Scotia as well, because you live there and yeah, you know, that was just tragic. Oh tragic. my goodness. Oh my goodness. I've had I've had a few breakdowns this week for sure, just thinking about it. And ever since I've started surrendering, I am not able to stuff anything down. So the minute I feel the grief, the tears just start flowing. But it doesn't last long though. Like I really just allow the tears to come, allow the grief and the sadness to come um, because it really was a massacre. It was the worst one in Canadian history. 22 people were murdered over a span of 12 hours. Innocent people. It was, it was yeah. just heart wrenching and, yeah. and the whole country felt it oh, the whole you know? i mean yeah. the whole country was just you know is so sad right yeah and i lived in nova scotia for four years and it is such a quaint beautiful little province and it's just lots of little villages and towns there's no major cities i think halifax i don't even know how many people live there but it's not a big city and the people are just laid back you know it's the kind of town or the kind of place where you you, you keep your doors unlocked because you feel safe. And for this to have happened there is mind boggling. But you know, I guess it started with domestic violence as well, right? Yeah. You, you know that. And that that's a yeah. that, this is this is a big problem today. It's it's it is. It's, a big, it's a big problem. It's rising and well isn't that what your brother had mentioned too? Right? My brother is a staff sergeant and I was talking to him the other day and he said that that's what they're they're 
number one, um, what they're busiest with right now is it has skyrocketed domestic violence. And, yeah. and for me, I just, I, I, I can't even, you know, where is all that anger coming from? But it's just so much the unknown moving forward and the uncertainty and, yeah. you know, that fear. builds fear in a lot of people. And, and, and there are people that take it out on others and often our loved ones are the scapegoats and that's who mm -hmm. they take it out on. And they have no time apart right now. The children aren't able to go to school. A lot of people aren't able to go to work. And so they're spending yes. all this time in the house. Yes. And they're getting on each other's nerves and tempers are flaring. And yeah, it's, um, it's sad. It's sad. It really is. It yeah. is. It is. Mm -hmm. So we still have to move forward, right? And yeah. and we are all in this together. And yeah. um, I I did I sensed a little bit of um, you know just in in terms of, of people who I'm in touch with, you know, daily or weekly, um, having conversations with that. It, it, it this week was a little bit tough for a lot of people, you know. Um, especially because we're heading into, we are into the second month and the first month, it's almost like, oh, okay, take a break from everyone and yeah. take care of myself and bake and I'm seeing everyone cleaning and all that. But yeah. now it's reality. And now we're into to the second month. And you know what? I'm going to say something to you. I, I felt a little bit the last couple of days. I, I felt, I missed the 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 human you know just the hugging right you and know? i think that you know what i think for a lot of people the reality has hit them because for right. us we love music festivals they've all been canceled all events are canceled right. um, calgary stampede has been going for what almost a century or more than a century this is the first time in its it's history canceled. that it's been canceled all of these huge events that we do throughout the summer that we do because we love it, they're canceled. Yes. And now we're thinking, yes. oh my gosh, we live very close to the to the Jasper National Park and Provincial right. Park. Everything is closed. We can't go camping, right? And so I think the reality is hitting for people where they're like, oh my God, this entire summer, we may just be in isolation, you know? And yes. Yeah. Yes. So oh, I'm going to be exploring my backyard most likely which i am doing now i'm discovering mountains to hike and yeah you know, we have little islands i mean i don't know what it's going to look like this summer but it, i really think that that's going to be our reality is that yeah. um you know and definitely international travel for a while no thankfully here in canada we're still allowed to go out in nature but i yes. have a i have a client from the united emirates who is now uh six weeks in complete quarantine where they need to apply for a permit to go to the grocery store or to go to the, the medical clinic. And if they are caught outside without a permit, they get thrown in jail. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so that's, you know, at least, yeah, we can yes. find solace in going out. I also, you know, I love hiking, you know that. And, and John and I went on a beautiful hike through uh, probably, I don't know, two, three feet of snow, actually. It was quite high elevation beautiful and blustery but wow still a lot of snow here in alberta at uh, the higher right. elevations and it just felt so good the fresh air the exercise right it really felt good to get out of the house oh absolutely and, yeah so i'm very grateful that we're still able to do that yes yes yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, no we're very very fortunate at, at least i mean i every day i just think i couldn't even imagine especially people who are downtown and you know we're there's still places to explore where there are no people, yeah. you know, as well. So, yeah. Well, and it's easier for us because we're country folk and us country folk there, we don't, we're kind of separated from a lot of people anyway. So there's just more opportunity for us to go out and not have to worry about running into people. But if you live in a city and you're, um, you seek your enjoyment by doing things like going to the mall, going to the movie theater, going to uh, concerts, going right, all of these things that involve masses of people, it's a huge mm -hmm. change for them. But for us, yes, so much. Other yeah. than music festivals are canceled, and that did kind of make me sad. I know, I know. There's quite a few things, and you know what? We're all. We just have to think. There's so many disappointments that everyone's feeling right now. Yeah. And, um, and there's lots to... of silver linings too. 
right? There's always silver linings. Mm -hmm. There are, there are. Like when I stopped at my friend's last night for a few hours, I had a little bit of a visit with her Uh and, um, and it's actually really nice because, because Tinder, which as you know, I have not done the online dating, right? Right. You've been scared too. Not that there's, (laughs) I'm just kidding. Did you say, sorry? (laughs) I said, because you've been scared too. But I know you know. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? I had I I actually asked myself the question quite a bit. I thought to myself, what is it? Why am I not? You know, it's been ten years now, right? Mm-hmm. Since I've um, I've been on my own now for ten years, and and every year has been. I'll do a whole podcast on that one day, a whole episode because. It's been quite a journey with all the different stages I've gone through. So last night when I stopped into my girlfriend's, um, she's online. And um, when I say stopped in, now here's the thing, moving forward. Do we have to always keep saying, I went around the side of the house. I didn't yeah. use her <laughs> We wiped down the chairs, right? Let's just, yeah. yeah. So Let's I, I'm just going to say, I stopped over at my girlfriend's place, You're right? So, way. Yes, we, you know, we we're responsible. Yeah. So anyways, and while I was there, she had a phone call from a gentleman who lives in, in, in England, in just outside of Winchester. And so Tinder, which is the online, one of the online dating apps, mm-hmm. um, they've opened it up. So you can actually reach out to people globally. Okay. Um, and it's, a, it's so people can, you know, connect with people who are in isolation. And I, I thought they were always global. I think you, I, there's probably a platform that is, and you have to pay for it, but I don't know. That's what I'm, that's what I'm assuming because I would think that you can reach out to people throughout the world. But as I said, I haven't been on, so I'm learning all this, right? (laughs) So, so all of a sudden I just had this epiphany last night. Like I was thinking, this should be my time to get on because I can target countries as opposed to men <laughs> the, it's it's funny your choice of words target target, <laughs> target. you know like, i say that right? get you <laughs> yeah exactly i'm gonna target oh the south of france mm, nice. yeah so, right i think i'm on to something here yeah so I'm sure um, my friends are just rolling their eyes thinking, here, she's, here she goes again. Yeah. But I never get on, but I'm actually thinking about it again, rethinking about it. I think that would be so fun right. to be able to talk to people. And, you know, there's no expectations for in, right now because we can't meet. That's right. So there's a safety net there. There is. Yeah. There is. And I can tell you that I've been in France on numerous occasions and the men are very romantic. <laughs> I'm saying. As a matter of fact, I was there two years ago. My cousin owns a cottage in the south of France, and um, I was there by myself. She lives in Holland, and so I stayed there for six weeks, most of it by myself. And I was just out walking, and this cyclist, he was like on one of those road bikes, all spiffed out, you know, looking very pro. He stopped. And he started chatting with me in very broken English. His English was very poor. But he, uh, he knew enough to ask for my phone number <laughs> and wanted to get together with me. And I declined because I thought, yeah, you know, the English, the, the language barrier, you know, maybe not. But yes, right. Kathy, very romantic they are. I, well, I know. And you know what? That's just one country I'm thinking of. I mean, uh-huh. there's, there's so many out there. But anyway, so it was just fun. And you know what, Jaka? He was a wonderful man oh my goodness just Mm -hmm. you know just having that sort of conversation with people who are like he's in England and and I thought to myself you know this is this is actually this is what I need to be doing you know and it's not something that I need in my life every day but I really need to open up that um just be okay with it and do it to have fun do it to have fun. And have fun. Well, that's just it. And don't take you it know? seriously unless uh, I, all of a sudden something clicks. Yes. But maybe exactly. you'll click with Spain or with Italy. Yes. Or who knows? Well, <laughs> well, I would have clicked with Mr. England last night if it wasn't my girlfriend that just <laughs> found him online a week ago. I kept saying to her, okay, he's uh, like just such a catch, right? So 
who knows how that's going to work out between the two of them. It's only been a week, but I guess my whole point is that it was really nice. You know, mm -hmm. it was really nice to, to think to myself, you know what? Um, this is just something that, yes, that I need to, to open myself up to. So beautiful. Well, on that note, keep us posted. I will. I'm going to be asking you lots, you know, have you I got your and then I had a phone date. I had a phone date with another boy last night as well. Oh, so, a boy. Oh, yes, I did. Yes. A young man. I did. And how did and that go? You know what? It's, it's a, a lovely, um, he's like an old soul. He's a very, very nice person. Uh -huh. yeah, very nice person. So okay. you, you know what? It's not even for me. I just think at least I'm just starting, you know, mm -hmm. and if it's friendships. And if it's just trying to, to, um, yeah. step out of that comfort, you know, yeah. comfort zone. And, and yeah, I, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to do spread, it. Just watch. spread your wings, girlfriend, spread yeah. your wings. I will. I yes. will. Wow. Lovely. Hey, and zoom actually lasted for us. We just had a whole chat without Zoom freezing. We Yay. did. <laughs> I think we can actually publish this one. I think we can. Yes. Yay. Okay. Yay, yay, yay. Well, um, great it only took us six or seven tries. That's all right. Who's counting, right? We're persistent. Gosh. Yes. We're so get listen, it. let me just make a little toast to you. Mm -hmm. All right. And to everybody out there. Yes. And let's just say, you know, we're, we're, we're in this together. And we are in it together. And I really, really hope that, um, you know, people are reaching out to people. And when we, when, when you said it earlier about, about asking, you know, how are you ask your neighbor how they are, you know, yeah. you're in a grocery store, you're in a lineup, turn to the person next to you, ask them how they're doing. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of people who are lonely right now. You yeah. know, there's a lot and, of people. And if I can add, if you're not doing well, it's okay to ask for help. Yes. And I think that is such an important message. It is okay. It is not a sign of weakness. Asking for help is a sign of strength. Yes. So if you are one of the ones who is finding that there's a lot of anger coming up or you're feeling like you're spiraling, seek help. Yes. Yes. All right. No one should be alone. So anyways, no one. Cheers. cheers. And much love. All right. Love you. Bye. Bye.